Mr. Graber, this is the engine repair class. Today, my student here, Aaron Smith, he is going to be measuring the size, the diameter of the piston skirt, and comparing it to the size of the inside of the cylinder. The piston and the cylinder have to have the right amount of clearance in between them, uh, that way they operate properly. When the piston expands, it has to have the right amount of space to expand from the heat inside the engine. So we're measuring for the proper amount of clearance. All right, so. He's going to be using a micrometer to measure the outside diameter of the piston skirt area. This is a precision measuring, uh, measuring instrument that measures down to the tenth of a thousandth of an inch. So he adjusts it to the size of the piston, and he's going to pull it off, and he's going to read the micrometer. 3.650. The size of the skirt is 3 inches and 650 thousandths. Now you're going to use your T gauge. You're going to measure the cylinder. That gauge expands inside of the cylinder and touches the cylinder walls. So then he can take that gauge, once he's got it adjusted properly, then he can take that gauge and measure it with an outside micrometer to get the final size. With this, you just want to make sure it has a little bit of drag on it just so that you know you're against the size of the cylinder wall. Hold on. Just Get a little straighter. There you go. Okay, lock it in place. Good. So we're looking at 3.680. And what do we have the first time? 3.650. So he's come up with uh, measuring that this piston has 30 thousandths of clearance. So this piston is a little worn out. It should have only around 3 thousandths of clearance. So these are some of the things that you have to do to make sure that an engine successfully lives when you put it back together.